very good afternoon to you. The world must work together to end terrorism. That's the message from Gordon Brown in an interview with Sky News today in which he said that countries must share information more effectively to catch potential terrorists. Well, this comes as the government's new security supremo, Admiral Sir Alan West, said that the overall threat to Britain was at its highest ever level and that the country faces a 15-year battle now to end Islamic extremism. The terror attack on Glasgow Airport provides the most graphic images to date of the immediacy and intensity of the threat Britain now faces. And with police inquiries spreading as far afield as Australia, the Prime Minister has told Sky News he wants far greater international pooling of intelligence. There's an NHS security review being published, I believe, on Monday, and suggestions that many of those involved at this stage are at least thought to be doctors. Uh, are we going to tighten up which doctors can come into this country? What, what I would say is this, that we do now need more information flowing internationally about who are potential terrorists and who are potential suspects. It must be alarming we, though if Australia is turning down doctors and then they're allowed to come to our country. Well, I think we've got to look at the facts here. I mean, one thing that is absolutely clear is if there is information in one country about the potential recruitment or the actual recruitment of someone to a terrorist group, then that should be information that's flowing to another country. Uh, and I want the system, which is uh, the watch list system, where we are trying to expand to Europe um, a system whereby we um, know who are potential terrorist suspects. We expand that to other countries in the world, and then we may have a better idea about people coming into different countries, whether as professional recruits or in other ways. All this comes as Gordon Brown's new security supremo, former head of the Royal Navy, Admiral Sir Alan West, has issued a stark warning that the threat against the UK has never been greater, adding in a Sunday Telegraph interview that to defend Britishness, we need to be a little un-British. Anyone who's got any information should say this, because the people we're talking about are trying to destroy our entire way of life, he says. This is not a quick thing. I believe it will take 10 to 15 years. But I think it can be done as long as we as a nation apply ourselves to it, and it's done across the board. The threat is to our British way of life and all of our British people. A brutal reminder of the stakes came this weekend with the ceremony marking the second anniversary of the 7-7 bombings, which killed 52 people. Ministers accept that Sir Alan's words are as timely as they are vital. It's about the whole of the world standing up against a very, very small group of people who want to impose their views on the rest of us by violence. And in the end, we will, we will overcome them by standing firm and resolute, as we have done in the face of the terrorist threat, and espousing those values and helping people to see that that's what the vast majority of the people of the world want. The complexity, as well as the urgency of the struggle against terrorism, is clearly un by what Gordon Brown says about pooling intelligence internationally. He also makes the point that the first duty of the Prime Minister of any nation is to preserve the safety of its citizens. Clearly, he's working on it. Peter Spencer, Sky News, Westminster. Well,